Hey, very fresh. 15th of September, 2021. I do pray you are well, discerning the times, in peace, in Christ Jesus. And what times they are, huh? Days of Noah, insane and upside down, just as we were told in the word of God. And by the revelation of Jesus Christ, which we are blessed to bear witness to. Now, not many of you probably remember the swine flu scam of 1976. It was an intentional scare and subsequent snake bite experiment, serpent deception, right? Big pharma sorcery and government. You understand? Colluding to lie to you and bewitch you into partaking in their snake swine experiment. Do you think government or people in power have gotten better or nicer or more benevolent since then? Since 1976, when they purposely scammed the entire country and coerced 46 million, 46 million to get a swine snake bite that literally devastated thousands of lives and families because they put their trust in man. Nothing new under the sun, especially when it pertains to the lies and the schemes and tactics of the devil. If the devil has you in his trap right now and you just don't know what to do, scared, confused, there's but one thing you can do to have peace and truth in your life and that's for you to call on the name of Jesus Tough measures. we will significant the flu season is upon us which type will we worry about this year and what kind of shots will we be told to take remember the swine flu scare of 1976 that was the year the US government told us all that swine flu could turn out to be a killer that could spread across the nation and Washington decided that every man, woman, and child in the nation should get a shot. And Washington decided that every man, woman, and child in the nation should get a shot to prevent a nationwide outbreak, a pandemic. This is a pandemic of the unvaccinated. Well, 46 million of us obediently took the shot. And now 4,000 Americans are claiming damages from Uncle Sam amounting to three and a half billion dollars because of what happened when they took that shot. By far the greatest number of the claims, two-thirds of them, are for neurological damage or even death, allegedly triggered by the flu shot. We pick up the story back in 1976 when the threat posed by the swine flu virus seemed very real indeed. This virus was the cause of a pandemic in 1918 and 1919 that resulted in over half a million deaths in the United States, as well as 20 million deaths around the world. They should get the vaccine. I hope they do. Again, it's something I'm very proud of. I think if we didn't come up during the Trump administration with a vaccine, you could have 100 million people dead, just like you had in, in 1917. I think we'd be in that territory. This has been great for the world. Tonight, I want to speak with you about our nation's unprecedented response to the coronavirus outbreak that started in China and is now spreading throughout the world. Today, the World Health Organization officially announced that this is a global pandemic. And we are marshalling the full power of the federal government and the private sector to protect the American people. I am confident that by counting, by counting, by counting, and continuing to take these tough measures, we will significantly reduce the threat to our citizens, and we will ultimately and expeditiously defeat this virus. The, the virus will not have a chance against us. We are all in this together. We are all in this together. Our future remains brighter than anyone can imagine. Thank you. See how easy it is to Thus, the U.S. government's publicity machine was cranked into action to urge all America to protect itself against the swine flu menace. Influenza is serious business. During major flu epidemics, millions of people are sick and thousands die. 
Well, this year you can get protection. The vaccines are safe, easy to take, and they can protect you against flu. So roll up your sleeve. Protect yourself. My message to unvaccinated Americans is this. We've been patient, but our patience is wearing thin. And your refusal has cost all of us. There's only one thing I can think of that hits harder than us. What can that be? The swine flu. It could knock you flat. So what's the defense for it, huh? Like our philosophy. You got to hit it before it hits you. You mean a shot? Yeah. You got yours? You better believe it. If swine flu wants to challenge me, I'm ready. Oh, me too, brother. Me too. Get the swine flu shot. It's called Operation Warp Speed. That means big and it means fast. A massive scientific, industrial, and logistical endeavor unlike anything our country has seen since the Manhattan Project. We need a Manhattan Project level effort to develop a vaccine as quickly as possible. We're in a live exercise here. The solution to this is get vaccinated and this would not be happening. I don't need another flu shot. I had a flu shot last year. A swine flu epidemic may be coming. Swine flu shot? Well, I don't know. I've been thinking about it. It could make you very sick. Swine flu? Man, I'm too fast to let it catch me. You'll want to be protected. I'm the healthiest 55-year-old you ever seen. Hey, I play golf every weekend. Get a shot of protection. The swine flu shot. What's your worst nightmare? We get vaccines to the American people and they don't take them. Shame on us. Hey, I was already sick. I don't need it. Shame on us. Hey, I don't believe in vaccines. Shame on us. Just shame on us. And it, and it does keep me up at night. I don't know. I'm sure a lot of people are not going to agree with this, but um, don't get the vaccine. You can't go to the supermarket. Don't have the vaccine. You don't show it. Can't go to the ball game. Don't have the vaccine. Can't go to work. You don't have the vaccine. Can't come here. No shirt, no shoes, no service. That's what I think we should be right now. This is not about freedom or personal choice. Joe brought it home from the office. He gave it to Betty and one of his kids and to Betty's mother. But Betty's mother went back to California the next day. On her way to the airport, she gave it to a cab driver, a ticket agent, and one of the charming stewardesses. Can you believe they've been conning everybody this overtly and this badly for so long? Throw out your television. At school, Joe's kid gave it to some other kids. And Mrs. Merrill got it and gave it to her husband. In California, Betty's mother gave it to her best friend, Dottie. But Dottie had a heart condition and she died. How frickin' morbid is this? Yeah, old Dottie died, but I guarantee you they put on her death certificate she died of the swine flu. But before she died, Dottie gave it to her girlfriend, the mailman, the paper boy, and the vet when she went to pick up her chihuahua. If a swine flu epidemic comes, this is how it could spread. You'll want to be protected, especially if you're elderly or chronically ill. Get a shot of protection. The swine flu shot. If you could see me right now, you would literally see me beside myself. What makes it incredibly more frustrating is that we have the tools to combat COVID-19 and a distinct minority of Americans, supported by a distinct minority of elected officials, are keeping us from turning the corner. Are, make, are making people sick, causing unvaccinated people to die. We cannot allow these actions to stand in the way of protecting the large majority of Americans who have done their part. I want to get back to life as normal. I want to get back to life as normal. I want to get back to life as normal. I want to get back to life as normal. I want to get back to life as normal. Uh, what you heard the president convey yesterday is the next steps that he is taking using every lever of government to uh, reduce uh, his sicknesses, to reduce hospitalizations, to protect more people, to protect more people, to protect more people, to protect more people. 
to protect more people and save more lives. I will say that he was channeli channeling the frustration that millions of people across this country are feeling who are vaccinated. Oh, this is not a video I want to make, um, and it's kind of hard to make because as I'm watching myself, I see um, what I'm going to say, which is I have been diagnosed with Bell's palsy. So I got it about two weeks after getting my vaccine, and I had a rough go with the vaccine, um, and I guess still am, but I have to say that I would do it again because it's what we have to do to see people. So um, I don't know why I'm making this video, but here's my worst smile. Oh, shut up, silly woman, said the reptile with a grin. You knew damn well I was a snake before you took me in. This is a pandemic of the unvaccinated. We've been patient, but our patience is wearing thin. And your refusal has cost all of us. Oh, the wickedness of man's heart without the blood of Jesus. Hold fast. Be vigilant. God bless each and every one of you. Peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God.